Hey guys, Kev here, and I have another unboxing to do for you. I have my Dock Street Bohemian Pilsner here. I have an unboxing knife. It is the Giant Mouse Ace Grand that has been customized and looks so, so sweet. Thank you to BJ Hill over at Hilltop Knives and Gear. And uh, real quick, I just want to open this one up. Uh, I think this is just an Amazon package with uh, a Sencut Scepter in it. Uh, this is just something that I picked up because uh, JB Jody over at Big Red uh, EDC sent me his Scepter to check out. And I really like it. So I just decided to pick one up. And yep, that's what it is right here. So I have my very own Sencut Scepter here. Uh, I just thought it was a really cool little EDC knife. I think this guy was like 42 bucks in this uh, gray micarta version. Um, so just wanted to show that real quick. Uh, pretty cool knife though, honestly, with uh, 9CR, I think. 9CR18 MOV, I think it is. Um, so yeah, I just want to make sure that's what that was. So let me put that to the side. And then I have a package here from, uh, Concept Knives. So last night, at least to me, it was last night I unboxed the, uh, replacement that I got from Concept of the Lefty Warrior, um, right here. They sent me a replacement. The one I had had some issues with detent. Um, you know me guys, detent's a big deal and, uh, they tried to have me fix it and I broke it basically, <laughs> um, which was both our fault, them for trusting me and me for even doing it. Um, so they sent that replacement and this right here is actually a, uh, knife that I've been hearing a lot of good things about from Stasa 23 from uh, a good buddy I chat with a lot, Ethan, um, fellow lefty, and he said this is a really cool knife. This is the Concept Pelican EDC. So it's a K Maxron design. Uh, listen to the screech. And um, it's just supposed to be a cool little EDC knife, and it's on thumb studs, it's right handed, and I just thought. It was a cool looking knife, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I've heard it's small, so I'm expecting that. And yes, it is. Uh, here it is. So let's package all this stuff back up. Um, I do like concept pouches because, you know, you can easily reuse those for something. Although I usually save all the packaging because I end up selling a lot of stuff. Um, let's see here. So I opted for the version with the blue hardware. Um, so it's kind of plain titanium and then blue hardware, blue anodized hardware, which I thought looked really cool. I think it's titanium hardware. Um, they did give me a discount on this, so I've explained this before. Um, they have a few YouTube channels that they just send stuff to, right? They just send them free stuff and, and then they review it or uh, make content on it or whatever. Uh, usually when that happens, people are very positive, um, and I, I don't mind getting stuff like that, and I try to get stuff like that. I'll reach out to companies and basically ask, uh, because if I can save a few bucks uh, buying something, you know, I might as well get it for free, but I'm not going to, you know, change my attitude on the knife. If I don't like the knife, I don't like the knife, right? Um, but anyway... They basically told me they have too many YouTubers already. They said, we have enough. And I was like, okay. Um, but they did say they would continue to offer me discounted pricing on these knives. So so I got a decent deal on this. I mean, it's not like I got it for real cheap. But, you know, I didn't spend the 180 bucks this is if you buy it uh, retail from like Blade HQ or something. Um, I got it for a bit less than that. So that's cool. Uh, it is a small guy interesting looking shape uh, all around here um i recently had the fox pelican that uh jake bearded gear sent me to check out and i didn't like that knife at all it was just a weird kind of design and everything but this kind of looks a little nicer to me um 
but we'll see it is very small so let me go ahead and flip it okay interesting flip there came out well oh wow okay so it is a small knife but it has very good ergos let's see the action oh okay good action man they nail it on the action man concept's really good it almost looks like you could front flip it with this thing right no you can't there's no jumping on it but that's okay um spidey flick for a lefty yeah i'm putting pressure on the lock bar there it's gonna be a little tricky yeah that's not gonna work guys so this is gonna be pretty much a stud knife for me um uh, which is fine um uh, look at this design it is similar to that pelican i kind of wish i had hung on to it for a few days um we got a very nice poon spoon here guys so um uh, concept coming in hot with the poon spoon you know i love that got me spitting everywhere um uh, but ergonomically my my index finger drops right into this swell right and then i drop the other three into this back swell and then my thumb just lands right in the spoon and that feels incredible it's almost like a finger choil but it's a thumb choil basically i mean it's awesome this feels really good you could get some really good controlled cuts with this the action is cool i really wish i could spidey flick it i'm gonna try a little harder here there we go so i can spidey flick it and i bet you off camera it's a little bit easier yeah i mean it's a, it's a smaller knife so it does make it hard to compare it um here's my vox f 5.5 and uh these are pretty similar right so you could pretty much match this up with an F5.5 if you have one. Um, or just to be a little more generic, we have a bug out here. Here's a bug out. It is about the same size as a bug out. I'd say a little bit smaller than a bug out. Uh, a bit thicker than a bug out. Right? And then also like this way, taller. It's a bit taller, but not much interesting looking knife here guys i really like this design a lot um i'm glad that i listened to my buddy ethan um he told me it was a really cool design and i would like it and he was right man the access to the lock bar is awesome see here um you could just put your left finger or your thumb in there let her drop and oh the action man they do such a good job on action right handed drop it to the nail and let her glide home and that's without any, you know, KPL or anything. And I may still add that. Um, and usually they're locked up. And there's a little tiny bit of play in there. Um, let me see. Got my handy dandy Wea kit here. Just see if I can real quick take care of that and see how the action holds up, right? Um, I'm noticing like red in the center of the pivot there where the tooling goes and that makes me worry a little bit that there might be some red loctite but so it is a um, it's a spinning pivot guys so that means that i need another tool to close to to tighten this up i mean it's really minimal and this action is really nice so i think i'm just gonna leave it alone right now uh, maybe I'll mess with it later. I'm a bit anal like that um, when it comes to blade play versus action. But man, I'm loving this thing. It has a very thin, slicey edge. The ergonomics are fantastic. Man, this thing is cool, guys. I am very stoked and very glad I picked this up, especially this version right here. Um, cool, cool. This is S35VN. You have your model number and the concept logo there. And then you have K Maxron design on this side. I guess he doesn't have a maker's mark or he didn't use it on this. Um, I like this kind of fuller that's on the handle instead of on the blade. That's interesting. Pocket clip is very cool. It kind of swoops over. Um, so you wouldn't be able to reverse this and have it work. You'd need another clip. Um, and then there's this lanyard hole that I really don't like because it's in the back. It kind of, but I guess it extends the design a little bit and that gives me enough room to hang on. I don't know. It doesn't really get in the white. Man, this feels so comfortable in my hand. It's always, it always amazes me 
how different designers do it when it comes to ergos and how they still come out so good like this just melts in my hand and it feels so comfortable i mean right off the bat this is one of the most comfortable knives i've ever felt and then you take something like the f 5.5 here and Voxnez does the same thing it just kind of like melts into my hand right but a little differently this finger kind of melts in and this one's on top where on this one my thumb kind of melts in, right? Um, and let me see what else I got. I have the banter here. So this is the Wee Knives banter. And this is just a simple swell, right? But it just locks me in and my thumb rides up here. It it just amazes me how all these different companies can do it. Um, here is a uh, Ferrum Forge Wee Gent. Same kind of thing here. Finger choil up here and just a simple swell in the back, right? But it just locks you in. Um, it's some weird stuff on the edge there. going to clean that off. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But anyway, it's just cool that so many different companies can do it different ways or designers can do it different ways, you know? Um, so anyway, that's a quick look at the... Uh, concept Pelican EDC. This thing is going to get some pocket time, guys. As long as this clip isn't terrible. Let me check that out. No, this clip is very comfortable, guys. It does not go very deep. Uh, you have about this much sticking out, but that's really not a big deal. Uh, I'm kind of getting used to that. As long as it's not a tiny knife, it's okay. But this action, man, right out of the box like that. And it does look like a pelican. You got to give him that. He has this knack for this little kind of uh, bird eye thing going on, right? That's the way he designs his knives with this cool uh, poon spoon. Loving the poon spoon. So, um, yep. I will catch up with you guys later on this one. I hope you have a fantastic night. I will catch you later.